M0FXP Hamtech. Have you ever heard of Lation Electronics Co. Dot Limited? A friend of mine, Jim, sent me a link to a radio called a UV25, and this got my interest thinking, wow, 25 watt handheld. So here we are on their website. They do sell other products. I've just clicked their little products link here. There's a few little base radios there and some handhelds there scrolling across the screen. So I thought, well, let's have a look at their software. So we've got a link here, it says Download Center, and then we scroll down. We're gonna go straight to the UV25 software. You can only see one link, I'm gonna click it, and we're gonna download it and have a look. Give that a minute. Go to my download section here. And we're gonna run it whilst you watch so you can see how easy it is. Now, I don't have the radio, so we're just looking at software here. Go through the process, next, next, next. I mean, it's VHF, UHF, 25 watts. It's not digital, so hopefully it shouldn't be a problem. It's installed, so we'll go start, and there it is there. Double click that window. Yeah, and there it is. Okay, you've got, it looks like you've got your settings page here. APO, squelch level scan, timer, step, very common radio settings, VFO memory, memory channel, display, custom, backlight, continuous, KNS, beeps, battery save, reset. So nothing out of the ordinary. Let's try and uh, add a channel. So number one, receive frequency, 145.500. There's our code. I didn't keep the, the signal. Is this, is this could be the 70 centimeter model then. Let's just go with that then. So 77 tone, but it's gonna be the same process. So we'll go 430.92. Two five for my repeater called GB3FI seventy seven. The TX is four three eight dot five two five. Again, so it's we've got receive and transmit. So the one you really want is the encode one, so seventy seven, and then decode. We actually we can just leave that off. We don't tend to need that. Power, choose your power. Ba bandwidth, wide or narrow, add it to your scan list. I'm not sure what this is. Tail cut, a proxy if it goes any bigger. Mm, no, no, let's click the right arrow. Ah, there you go. Opens it up, a few more settings there. So it seems, you know, quite good to me. Channel clear, up and down, channel delete here. Communication password if you want one. Looks like the default is one, two, three, four. I like the colorful little logos that they're showing here at the top. All data, so that clears your data. Save, let's save, and let's just see what it saves the file as. Um, let's give it a name. Okay, so that was opening, so save is here. Let's try again. Download, save. What did that save it as? Lexan, is that an LX19? What we got here? Read and write to the radio, just here, look, read. Oh yeah, setting your COM port, we haven't got a you know, radio, you're gonna to need to get yourself a cable for the Lexan radios. We'll see if we can find a cable. Just clicking everything now. There's your different bands, look. So that's why we can set it. So if we go to two meters now, try and go 145.500. Yes, yeah, let us go in there. So up here, you select the band. Band one, band two, so I would say A and B band. There's your model there, and that one is saying LX928. Although we, we did select, we did download the UV25, unless we, there is one underneath cord, 
928 underneath 928 let's click this one again and we'll just go just do that one again UV 25 because that was the LX 928 but that's fine because we're just looking to see how to use it really it's going to be similar it's called the note 1.01 .01, that one let's run it so I just find things of interest and I just try them out I do tend to buy the things that I really like uh, unfortunately so there's the note version 101 yeah it looks identical let's see the model now well the radio's not connected so we can't do that but frequency range the software looks the same to me so I'll just see if I can just locate a cable yeah and it's not a problem look techno fix in the UK I've got cables there look just need the right one for the right model so thanks for watching my YouTube channel it might be useful to people that have got the Lexan if you want me to do some more programming videos but it seems very basic to me you just put in your receive frequency say 145.600 for a repeater put in your transmit frequency 145.000 encode again we have to select the right band so let's do that again so two meter we're on the set two meter band now And code 94.8. Set your power and any CTCSS that you want, which we've done, and then just write it to the radio. Select the one that writes. They are right. We can't write because we haven't got the radio. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now. 73.